How's it going, Blazers? This is going to be the first versus video for this channel, and this is going to be a brief rundown on both of the knives. Uh, both of them are origin of China. Uh, both of them were founded by Jesper Voxnes, and then also both of them are Team CRKT. Uh, so again, if it's going to be uh, the format we go forward with, there's going to be differences on both sides. Uh, so that's going to be that information there. We're going to be going old school video game here. Uh, so you start off with five life points on each side. As we go through each of the steps, uh, then you would actually uh, have one taken away. So if this one uh, wins on a topic, uh, one point will be taken off of here. If this one wins on a topic, one is taken out from here. Uh, so that's going to be how that game's going to go. And then uh, you could be knocked out uh, from the competition before you even get to the end uh, if you lose all your life points. Uh, so that's going to be how this is going to function and uh, how we're going to see how that works. So let me know in the comments down below as far as what you think about that as well. And we're going to start off uh, the competition here. Uh, so we're going to start off with some of the information. Uh, we're going to start off with weight. Uh, weight is the same on both sides. So three ounces, three ounces. So the, with the scales, uh, the carbon fiber and the G10, it did bring that weight down from the original, but it's three ounces on both sides, so no points taken away from either side. Now uh, we also have blade length, uh, 2.5, 2.5, again, no change on that. So if we use this format in the future, uh, then there is going to be some difference and there'll be some points taken away on that one. So materials is going to go towards uh, the uh, carbon fiber uh, because of the, uh, the higher steel, I mean the higher uh, handle material uh, so we're going to be losing one point uh, from this side here and then for steel we're also going to be losing one point from this side because this they did upgrade the steel on this blade so we're going to be actually taking away one from there so not starting out too well after the g10 version uh, but this is going to be that how that competition will kind of run so the grip side uh, so the g10 versus the carbon fiber uh, the G10 is actually a bit more grippy, so I do, I'm going to give that to this knife here. So this knife will actually lose a point uh, for that side. And then for pocket retention, that's one thing that was kind of an interesting topic. I didn't really think about it until uh, making this video. So we're going to actually uh, toy around with that, see which one has a better pocket retention, and kind of show you that. So one moment here. So for this one, we're going to be utilizing the lime pull gauge as well, but then the lime pull gauge is going to be used to actually take the knife out of the actual knife roll. This actually is a blade, blade HQ and knife roll as well. So we're going to go and check on that as far as how this goes. So one pound, 8.7. Let's check on this one here. This one is the G10 version. And that one actually moved already, so at most it's seven ounces. So it might have a defective one on this side, but uh, for that, for the retention side, I am going to give that over to the carbon fiber version uh, because it actually will stay in your pocket. Uh, so that's one thing there. And you don't want it to be too much. I mean, I prefer probably about two, two pounds, 2.5 would probably be accurate. So let's put this back on the right side. So we have this one for the carbon fiber and the G10. So for that one, for pocket uh, retention, we also lose a point there uh, for this category. And for the action, action is going to be uh, the same on both of them. Uh, same actions, again, different knives will have different action for it. And uh, that's going to be the same thing with that. And then for uh, being a pocket bully, uh, I kind of coined that because uh, both of these knives, uh, when they're in your pocket, when you're kind of going for your, your wallet or whatever else it's sharing the pocket with, you're going to notice this knife in your pocket. And that's why I kind of call it a pocket bully. Uh, but that was going to be the same uh, for each one of these categories uh, as well. Uh, so that's going to be kind of how that functions and how that looks like uh, for the competition. So we're going to end out uh, with the competition here. And you can kind of see already as far as which one gets the win on this category. So G10 version, Blade H HQ exclusive uh, that I own and purchased. And then this one, thank you to uh, Blade HQ for providing this for the pass around group. Uh, this is the carbon fiber version, also exclusive to Blade HQ. Uh, so this one actually will get the win with four life points still available. And then the other one is down to two. So thanks again for that. Let me know in the comments down below as far as what you think about this format. 
uh, for other knives. And then this might be actually the versus competition for the Blade Banter channel. So I appreciate the time. Let me know what you think. And as with anything new and exciting, we did actually forget one topic. So yeah, my fault. But uh, one also category, uh, so the sharpness uh, for the knife uh, did do uh, the test on both blades. Uh, so for that one, uh, it still also went to the carbon fiber version. Uh, they both were kind of at the high, um, the higher end of uh, new high-end cutlery, almost to the level of needing maintenance. Uh, so the uh, G10 version, uh, that one came in uh, at a, a 371, and this one came in at an average of two pulls of 344. Uh, so that's one thing uh, that's there. Uh, so I'm looking at this one, uh, that's going to be about this grade uh, right before needing maintenance. Uh, but that's going to be where that is. But still gave the win uh, to the carbon fiber version. So another point there. Uh, so the other blade nearly got knocked out uh, entirely uh, by this competition. Uh, but let me know what you think. And sorry about the mishap.